So what the device is doing is it's taking a photo of each of the six sides. Then you'll notice once it's uh, done its image processing, transformed it into a 3D image. Sorry, I'm going to stand back up for this. It's uh, sensitive to shadows. <laughs> um, and then, you know, point. So now it's solving it. It took two seconds to solve it on this thing. It uses all four cores of the phone. It uses uh, quite a lot of the two gigabytes of RAM sitting in the device as well. It says here, move 5 or 49. Typically, it will average 51 moves per solve. Um, which, when you compare it to the best solutions, the professionals try to do a 4x4x4 cube. It's only 120. So this has been developed by one of the engineers at Harvard. First time he's ever shown it out. You see, I'm not a techie, but that means a lot to me. Then I can see what that's about. Yeah, so it's like it, it's pretty neat because the phone is doing kind of the brain stuff and it uses Bluetooth which is the Lego kit and it just says every time you do a move. I'm going to go for it. How long does it take to do the cube of um, Normally about two and a half minutes, so you can see that it's on through 40 or 49 right now. It's getting there. And it'll be there only a second now. Um, That's really cool. It depends on the state of the thing when you start off, really. In case anyone thinks we're cheating, I welcome you to try and mess oh, around. Right. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. God. This is going, going back to the 80s, isn't it? Look at that. Or if you can try and solve it. <laughs>